Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Samantha and I am almost 35 weeks pregnant so by the time this is posted I will be 35 weeks pregnant. And today I just want to do a little q and I asked questions on Instagram and on YouTube so I'm just going to go through those and kind of give you like a little third trimester Q&A. Um, I had multiple questions asking if I'm going to have a natural birth. Um, I don't really know if that means like vaginally or without medication um, but my plan for right now is both of those things. We actually have an appointment tomorrow for a growth scan of the baby. Um, everything has been totally fine and normal so far so as long as everything keeps going according to plan we will just have a regular vaginal birth. Um, if she flips around or we need a c-section for any other reason then obviously we'll have a c-section. Um, obviously you can't always plan for that. As far as medication, I'm planning on not using an epidural or anything like that, but that doesn't mean that I'm completely against the idea if I go in and everything is extremely, extremely painful and I need the epidural to help myself get through the end of the labor, then um, definitely will consider that then. My family has a history of fairly easy and quick labors, so if I'm anything like my mom or my sister, then um, I most likely won't go with the pain medications, but you know, anything can happen and everyone is different. Someone asked how I was feeling. Like I said, everything's been going pretty well so far. My biggest complaints for the third trimester are heartburn, which um, is some days really bad and some days not so bad, but I'm pretty used to sleeping sitting up. Um, so I've just been doing that and been taking Tums and everything's been fine. My nausea has kind of returned a little bit in the third trimester, nowhere near as bad as it was in the first trimester, um, but just a little bit of nausea every now and then. And some days I do feel just really uncomfortable. I think it just depends on where she's positioned. Um, some days I feel like I cannot get in a comfortable position no matter what I do. And sometimes I just have some hip pain that goes along with that. But other than that, it's been pretty easy. Honestly, even those things that I described have not been hard for me. Really, I honestly think that this pregnancy is a lot easier than what a lot of people have to go through in their pregnancies. It's, I'm very thankful that it's been so easy. Someone said, you have a baby without problem for cancer. Um, I actually have another whole video about how pregnancy affects my cancer plan, but short answer, no. Um, I haven't had any issues getting pregnant after cancer. I'm not exactly sure what this is asking. If this is asking um, you were able, like if I was had any issues getting pregnant or if I have any issues with cancer returning because of pregnancy. Um, I haven't been really scanned throughout this pregnancy. I will get scanned once I give birth. So we will see what the cancer situation is then. I actually did not really have any problems getting pregnant after I stopped all of my cancer treatment, which is not always the case. I'm very thankful for that. Um, and it happened fairly quickly too. And a lot of people have to wait multiple years until their bodies get back to normal, but um, yeah. Anyway, if you want more information about cancer and pregnancy, I have another video where I talk more about that. Someone asked my cravings and it kind of just depends on the day. Sometimes I really crave green vegetables, but honestly that's not really different than normal. I always crave green vegetables. Um, some days I really crave meat, which is kind of not normal. I don't usually crave meat. Lately I've just been wanting a lot of cheese and milk. Um, just dairy stuff and um, peanut butter. <laughs> Will you breastfeed? If yes, can you from both breasts? So I am planning on trying to breastfeed. Uh, I don't know if it'll work. Obviously, we will wait and see. I have heard from a lot of cancer survivors that got radiation that um, they were not really able to breastfeed from the breast that was radiated. Um, when you look on the internet, it basically says it might work and it might not, but just seeing from this group that I'm in on Facebook, everyone basically says if they got anything at all, it wasn't like a meaningful amount. So I'm not really expecting to get anything from my left side, but I'm hoping that the right side will kind of make up for it. Um, but if it doesn't, then I'm not opposed to obviously formula feeding. Are you scared of labor? 
I'm actually not really that scared of it. I don't know why. Um, I'm sure once I go into labor and I start to notice like all the pain and everything, it'll start to be scary. Um, but right now I'm kind of just excited for it. Uh, I just want it to happen. <laughs> Obviously there's lots of things that can go wrong, but I'm not really that scared of very many medical things. Um, I've been under anesthesia before, if for some reason I need to do that. Um, if it's too much pain to handle, I know that I can get an epidural if I want. So really, I'm not that scared of it, but I am really excited and anxious for it to happen. <laughs> Where will you and Gray want to take your daughter for her first trip or hike? Hike, I'm not really sure. Probably somewhere in Alaska, um, somewhere easy because I'm sure it's going to take me a while to be able to do like a big hike. We already know that her first plane trip will be to fly back to Virginia for my brother's wedding. So that'll be ver a very long flight for a little baby, but obviously we're gonna be going to the wedding. So that'll be fun to take her there and that'll be her first like big trip. Where are you planning to deliver your baby and when? We're planning to deliver in the hospital and when will be whenever she comes. Uh, like I said, 35 weeks now. My due date is December 21st. What's your favorite and least favorite thing about being pregnant so far and what are you looking forward to the most after the baby is here? Overall, I honestly feel fantastic. So that's probably my favorite thing about being pregnant, but that's just because I obviously stopped my cancer medication. Just overall, like the pregnancy side effects and things that come with pregnancy just not been anywhere near as bad as the side effects that I dealt with on my medication. So overall, I just feel really, really good. So my favorite thing is not being on cancer medication. Um, but I also just really like feeling her movements and stuff because it's pretty cool that my body can, you know, grow a baby. My least favorite thing is probably having to pee all the time because I never was a person that had to pee a lot. Like whenever we would go on road trips or whatever, I would always be the one that would be like, oh my gosh, we're stopping again for the bathroom. But basically ever since the second trimester, I have needed to use the bathroom all the time and I'm just not used to it. This comment has a lot of questions, so I'll just go through them. How are you feeling? Some of the health issues you were having, has it gotten better or worse? So earlier I was mentioning that I had a bunch of asthma. That has gotten way better. Um, my doctor prescribed some steroids and an inhaler and the steroids helped me get over the worst of it and now I just use an inhaler every day, twice a day and I do not really have very many issues with it anymore unless I forget to use that inhaler. <laughs> How do you like Alaska? What are pros and cons? We love Alaska. It's beautiful here. We love the snow that we already have outside. The cons are probably just being away from family and the prices which prices have kind of gone up everywhere, but they're obviously a little bit more expensive here. So it's a con, but it's not that big of a deal. I think I asked before how our rent in Alaska, I know groceries are very expensive, but then again, I know what the economy is, I'm sure everywhere. Um, yeah, so there are different part. there's lots of different parts of Alaska. It's a huge state, right? Um, there are remote, more remote parts of Alaska where the groceries are way more expensive. I think Gray told me that the prices are probably like 20 or 30% more up here for most things. The rent really isn't bad at all. We're only paying 400 to 500 more per month than we were in Virginia. And in Virginia, we had basically a studio apartment and here we have a three bedroom apartment. So. The rent is really not bad at all. Obviously home prices and rent are going up everywhere. So like, yes, it's bad, but it's not bad comparatively. Question just about living in Alaska. Is it dark six months and sun six months where you are? Not sure I could adjust to that and for a baby learning rhythm sleeping. I'm sure it all works, especially if she's born there, you look great. Okay, so somebody asked me this question already and I didn't answer it because it confuses me. I feel like I'm not understanding what the question is. The only way that this question makes sense in my mind is that it seems like you're asking if it's just full on dark for six months and sunlight for six months, 
which I'm pretty sure can only happen in the North Pole and the South Pole. We don't live in the North Pole. And I, I feel really bad because like, I don't want, I know that this cannot be the question you are asking. Yeah, it's darker here in the winter than it is in other places because we're at a higher latitude. For reference, I think the northernmost city of Alaska does have straight darkness for about two months, um, but Alaska doesn't get high enough. Like none of Alaska gets high enough up in latitude for it to be longer than that. And we are near Anchorage where it's not fully dark for any day of the year here. So for reference right now, our sun rises around 9 a.m. and our sun sets around 4.20 p.m. So on December 21st, which is theoretically the shortest day of the year, the sunrise is at 10.16 a.m. and the sunset is at 3.35 p.m. So that is the shortest day that we have. And um, obviously it's a little light outside before the sunrise and it's a little light outside after the sun sets, just like it is everywhere. I'm really thinking it's only gonna be kind of bad for the month of December, part of January, and the end of November. Are you having your baby in Alaska and are you having it natural? I already answered the question about natural birth, but yes, we are having the baby in Alaska. Are you going to have someone helping with the newborn baby? Um, my husband will be taking off some time from work. Also, my family is flying up here. They'll be here for about two months helping. And um, yeah, so we will have a lot of help. <laughs> my cousin's mother died of cancer. She had it very aggressive. Then my cousin had a baby and decided to feed her baby vegan. Are you going to maybe do a special diet for the baby to possibly prevent cancer? First of all, I'm sorry to hear about your cousin's mother. Isn't that just your aunt? Maybe not. Um, sorry to hear about that. That's very sad. Uh, cancer is deadly and it sucks. But no, I'm absolutely not planning to make my baby vegan. I am not doing a special diet for myself, so I definitely would not make my baby be on a special diet. Honestly, like my oncologist just says, you know, things in moderation, just like any other doctor will tell you, you should try not to eat a lot of sugar or try not to eat a lot of red meat. It's basically the exact same thing for cancer patients. I mean, so I'm just, doing my same regular diet, not changing anything like that. Are you going to be a stay-at-home mom or go to work? Currently I'm not working. I had to quit my job when we moved up here and I just decided that I don't want to take on a new job until after the baby is born because I just want to see how things go. Um, I could find that I want to go back to work and I could find that I don't. So basically I'm just trying to see how it goes but you know, obviously for the first few months of her life, not planning on taking any kind of job. One question that I have gotten is how much weight I have gained. I've gained about 24, 25 pounds since the start of my pregnancy. And overall you're supposed to gain between 25 and 35 pounds. So I'm in that range. Obviously I have five weeks left, but I've been gaining about one pound a week for a while. And then another question I've gotten is how much are we going to show the baby once she's born? And I don't have a huge answer for that, but not much is really the answer. I don't want to show too much of our baby. So if you're watching, you know, this channel to hopefully like see a ton and ton of baby footage, you're not really going to get that on here. I don't want to put that much of our daughter all over social media. One of the reasons for that is obviously because she's a baby and she can't decide if she wants to be on social media. And another reason is just because people on the internet are so judgmental that I just know it's going to make me angry. <laughs> you know how every once in a while you'll see like a short, cute, funny video of, you know, a kid maybe like throwing a tantrum or being like, mom, I want some candy or something. And then the comments are just like, that kid's gonna grow up to be spoiled. Oh my gosh, I can't believe that you let your kid do blank. And it's just like, you saw a 30 second clip out of this child's life and you are criticizing these parents like from a 30 second video that you saw online. And it's like, oh, maybe you saw a video of a kid that's sitting in a car seat, but they're unbuckled because maybe the car stopped and it's just like, oh my gosh, you have your child in a car seat and they aren't buckled in. Like, you're seeing a video for five, 10 seconds. Like, it's just ridiculous the amount of comments that like are just like, 
I know what's better for your baby and clearly I can tell what kind of parent you are from this 30 second clip that you posted and so I'm not about that. I don't, I just know that will make me angry. Gray and I are going to raise our kid the way that we want to raise our kid and we don't want um, judgment from people online with how we're going to do that. And also we just want to keep her life private. Okay, so that's basically all the questions I have. Um, if you want me to do another Q&A video, let me know. And if you have any other questions, leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. Check out my other videos. They are cancer related and pregnancy related. And subscribe if you want. Yeah, that's all. Bye.